So let us discuss about ISTQB foundation level exam structure. So ISTQB foundation level exam consists of 40 multiple choice questions. Each correct answer has a value of one point. Uh, and the time allowed for each examination is 60 minutes unless and until uh, if your uh, native language is not the examination language, in which case uh, you will be allowed an additional 25% of the time. So if you see the table below, um, the number of questions is 40. The maximum number of po points, number of possible points is 40. If you score all the answers correctly, you will get 40 points. The passing score is 65%. That means you have to at least answer 26 questions. Um, questions correctly out of 40. Uh, exam length is 60 minutes and if uh, the native, if your native language is not examination language, you'll get additional 25% of the time. That means in that case, your exam length will be 75 minutes and uh, a score of at least 20, 65% is required to pass the exam. So distribution of questions across K levels. Uh, so this is the table which elaborates or which uh, explains what will be the distribution of questions across the K levels and I'll discuss about the K levels in the next slide. Um, so the K level uh, that are relevant for ISTQB foundation level uh, syllabus are K1, K2 and K3 and the distri distribution uh, among K1, K2 and K3 is 8, 24 and 8 which makes it to total 40 and the question timing is approximately how much time it should take to answer that particular question and uh, the total time by the K level is approximate um, number of minutes that they have um, provided. Now going next, uh, what is the distribution of uh, the questions per chapter. So as we have seen in the previous slide uh, or previous tutorial that uh, there is a distribution of questions among the chapter uh, and there there are six sections in ISTQB foundation level and there are the maximum number of questions are from chapter four and five. So these two chapters are pretty important followed by chapter one and then two and three. So chapter six has lowest number of questions for the exam. So please ensure that you go through um, chapter four, five and eight uh, pretty thoroughly and then chapter two and three followed by chapter six to pass your certification exam. And then below is the uh, URL which I'll post in the, um, in the uh, tutorial section as well. Uh, when you can visit and see the exam structure and rules in detail. Now uh, going next is uh, the K levels. So what exactly are the K levels? So K1, uh, what it means is you just need to remember, recognize and recall. Then K2 is basically you need to understand. You, If you are asked, you need to explain about uh, that particular question. You need to give reason or compare, classify. Uh, you might be required to categorize or give examples, etc. So that sort of understanding and explaining uh, about a question is the K2 level. Then K3 level is about whether you will be able to apply and how you are going to use that particular technique. Uh, that's the level of uh, K3. And then K4 is the higher level, which is the analysis level. You should be able to do analysis and analyze the question and then answer it. Um, so. Luckily, K4 is not, uh, there are no K4 level questions in ISTQB foundation level uh, syllabus. So only K1, K3, K2 and K3 is what you need to worry about. And this distribution and the level of uh, what K levels will be uh, coming up for from each chapter, you can visit the URL below, uh, which I'll post in the, uh, in the tutorial section as well. Um, you'll you can visit this URL and see what is the distribution of questions for each K level in the ISTQB foundation level certification. So um, that's pretty much about uh, the K levels and the exam structure and question distribution. Uh, so let's get started with the course. Thank you very much for enrolling.